good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. Race number five on the card gets underway, jackpot two, and uh, you need to get those jackpot two bets on by 20 past three on the Tuesday afternoon. Racehorse Owners Association hybrid stakes over the 1600 meter trip. Now we do see quite a lot of these hybrid stakes up in the, down in the Cape, and it's certainly a, an event that is growing on the racing public. Now in this lineup, I think there is gonna be a decent clip, and I think it could play into the hands of number five, Somerset Mom from the Justin Snape Yard. He's a horse that does return from a two month break, and in terms of going well fresh, he has had four runs for a second, a third, and two fourths. He's a horse that is yet to win over the course and distance, but he has notched up one victory over the 1,600-meter trip. And with Samanga Kumalo in the hands, he has a neat draw of gate number four. I think Samanga will just be able to tuck him up behind the pace. And uh, I think Somerset Mom is going to run on really strongly in this lineup. And he has been priced up at around 7-2, to two, so I think he's going to go close. The other Justin Snaith runner, number one, as Speed Machine. Now, he was a facile winner last time out, thumping his opposition. And uh, my bestie ran on best of the rest. He was handed six points for that win. He is drawn in gate number two and he has to carry top weight in this lineup. He's yet to go over the 1600 meter trip. He tries unknown, uh, unknown uh, waters for the very first time and we'll see how he does go. But he is your early favorite at around even money and speed machine. After that fast win, there's no doubt that the connections will be uh, confident going into this race and stepping up in trip to 1600 meters but the horse for me is number five somerset warm ahead of number one speed machine devon who's your top choice in the lineup yeah i've gone for number one speed machine uh, i agree with you about the pace in the race i do think there's going to be a, a, a solid pace here and all he has to do is repeat that last run when he beat my bestie by 6.25 lengths the blinkers have done the trick there it's got the blinkers again aldo de Mea is aboard as we touched on this earlier i think aldo is in for a bumper bumper card i think he's going to win many races on the card i do make number one speed machine the horse to beat currently trading at 14 to 10. so uh yeah that's my first choice the biggest danger i agree with you is number five somerset morgan 33 to 10 is the current price manga kumalo is aboard he's also riding at the top of his game so you got to throw this one in if i look at the pick six i will be including four runners here this is the likes of number one speed machine number five somerset morgan number three rocking ringo and number four azor so the top four for me one five three four but i do think Speed Machine will be hard to beat here. They heard from Devon. He is with number one as Speed Machine. Alden and Mayer, Justin and Snape teaming up. And if you're a fan of Alden and Mayer, I think uh, you're going to be in for a profitable day at Kenilworth on Tuesday. The betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need, to, uh, I need to get studying again to, to get the edge back, but yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's, uh, it's really, it's, uh, in my opinion, one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Yeah.